space tourism is a fascinated word since the year 2001, when Dennis Tito went to space as the world's first space tourist. During 2001 to 2009, as many as seven tourists had visited the International Space Station. Boarding Soyuz spacecraft from Russia. It wasn't easy then, as the space travels were time-bound and expensive costing approximately a whopping 20 to 25 million US dollars. But, now with aerospace companies like Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, and Blue Origin, it would be possible to have space travel on the to-do list, and get it achieved soon. It all started in the 1960s. Yuri Gagarin, from Russia, was the first person to go to space on April 12, 1961. Soon after, in May 1961, Alan Shepard went to space as the first American astronaut. During that time, the distinction between an astronaut and a non-professional astronaut was clarified by the United States Department of Defense. Any military or civilian pilots flying above 80 kilometers above sea level were recognized as astronauts. However, space tourism has always been different from scientific exploration or expeditions. The curiosity to be in the astronaut's suit and see the Earth from outer space has excited many ever since the 60s. Over the years, there are three different types of space travels being planned and projected from different aerospace companies. Most of the recent space travels, both from Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin, are suborbital space travels. Suborbital space travel is like attaining the speed to cross the space limit of 80 kilometers, and then come back to Earth's atmosphere. Orbital space travel is attaining a velocity to reach space, and coming back to the Earth's surface after orbiting around the Earth. The cost and technology needed for orbital space tourism, are much high and sophisticated. Probably, Roscosmos is the only company to have offered orbital travel, in the history of space tourism. Lunar space travel is something that requires stringent medical tests, physical as well as mental preparation and obviously significantly high-priced tickets. As announced by SpaceX, their lunar trip will be around the moon and come back. Moreover, this won't be minutes long or hours long travel. Their lunar space tour might be three to four days long. Recently, Richard Branson made the headlines, as his aerospace company Virgin Galactic did a successful trial of space tour. And the British business tycoon was in the crew members, that went on to register a new space age on July 11, 2021. Almost a week later on July 20, 2021, Jeff Bezos made a successful space flight with his fully automated, Blue Origin spacecraft. Space tourism market is the next big thing, no doubt about it. The journey time, space time, travel comfort, and other yet to be promoted features will define the space travel cost. As per various sources, when Virgin Galactic is charging $250,000 per ticket, includes a spacesuit, Blue Origin's space flight comes at $28 million, and SpaceX's next trip to outer space is priced at $55 million. The market is just warming up, and there is a lot more to see and witness in the coming future, as companies like Boeing and Zero2Infinity are waiting for the right time, to start their voyages to outer space.